the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the locking pin light goes on. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> side of the door. That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. Manipulator, quick! How titillating! Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute! Oh, I love tough guys. I'm on fire. Closer! I can't reach her. I'm trying. I'm trying. She's one strong ass bitch. I'm at your service, sugar. Anything for my master? What can I do for you? More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. 
literally crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore now that you've got me. I'll service you however you want. Got a sword? A massive sword? But I can do so much more! A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. <sighs> I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with the lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I can follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. Ugh. Supply room's locked. Well, that's just fucking great. I can't just snap my fingers here. I need a key. And let me guess. You can't open this lock, can you, Charles? Unfortunately not. But I can set a waypoint you can use to find the key. It should be in a nearby workspace. You're finally starting to come in handy.
But take care. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. Remember, I can always distract it by throwing something, then knock it out with an EMP. Damaging, misappropriating, or handing set equipment over to third parties constitutes a crime against the party and is punishable by law. Attention, all staff members who receive their notice are to report to social control by end of day. Failure to report will be considered an aggravating circumstance. the key we can access the circuit breaker now yep but i'm just gonna have a look around first i need some parts to upgrade my weapon i won't get far with this pile of shit i wouldn't dream of stopping you smart move charles smart move
Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? Ahem. This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was gonna stand here until it turns off on its own. Try to match the colors of the laser beams with the colors of the lights. That should help. Suggests the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me, please continue. Comrades, follow your shift schedule carefully. Extra minutes that have left is a minute stolen from the people.
There's no other way forward. We have to take it. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Vavilov's cold workshop. It would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. This cable car will take us there. You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. Reboot the control system to reactivate the line. Where's the control panel? And of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one. A combination lock. Ah, uh, it'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. Station Master. What a joke. Uh, what was that? They won't go without a schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me, he's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why are they frozen just like everything here? They won't go. No, they won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neuropolymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. Fuck! A talking corpse!
enough for schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me, he's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. Holy fuck. A talking corpse. This enormous flying platform easily houses the Chalamet... They won't go without a schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me. Holy fuck. A talking corpse. There it is. Charles, so this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they gonna talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. I see. So the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. Poor bastards. The cable car line is activated. Welcome, passengers. Please take your seats according to your ticket. Sorry, no ticket. find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that.
That was a surprise. I agree. You've got quick reflexes, Major. You bet. I wouldn't survive without him. Right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Barovs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable project. to find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. Lexus Major. You bet. I wouldn't survive without him. Charles, that was a bit off, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Barovs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to the inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system.
you again. Careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. find a way to move forward. Well, frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. Lexus Major. You bet. Wouldn't survive without him. Charles, that was a bit off, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Ross can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. talking about the Burovs, our finest product what a shame did you know we weren't allowed to sell them abroad Comrade? what's so ironic about that oh it's ridiculous really i was a roboticist here you see i was a Burov roboticist when i heard the robots were attacking people i Rushed here. Wanted to switch mine off. So they chopped me up. I was killed by my own machines. The control panels got buried under the rubble. Now they're on their own. Digging God knows what. Like they're sleepwalking or something. I wonder what they're dreaming of without us. Why is there a ban on exporting them? They're cutting edge city building machinery, that's why. Point them at the ground and... 
on the Barafs? From day one. Built just about everything in here. Used to be no artificial sea, no fields, no forests or anything here. To say nothing of the cable cars. Just mountain ranges. No, hardly anything stops to think about what it used to be like here. And it's all thanks to my Borovs. We moved mountains. Built the whole infrastructure. They're tearing down what they built. They've got no idea. Yeah. A machine's mind is like a small child's, you know. It needs love, care, or it'll descend into confusion. Man, do I ever love crawling through dark-ass tunnels. That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of Facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. Wall. That's some serious security. People put them up for a reason. If you see one, that means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. There's a repair vendor up ahead. Try upgrading your equipment to increase your laser resistance. Not a pervy lunatic fridge. You're back! 
What took you so long? I was so lonely. Uh, just give me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your polymer inside me. Don't let her boss you around. We have no time to waste. Don't listen to him, big guy. He wants to drive us apart. Take off that stupid glove so we can stay together forever. I see. Do you want me to punch you or tear you apart? You'd really kill me over a stupid... All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say, stud. Upgrade initiated. Relax and enjoy... Your defense system is active. That thing packs a punch. I almost bought the farm there. The key word being... almost. You got that right. Let's go find that traitor. When I get my hands on him, I'm gonna rip his fucking...
Don't worry, honey, I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a burav. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him bleed out. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. It scares me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor! Are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations. And that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelem. Victor, save yourself! Chelem. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning. Hey, freeze! Warning. Right here. Lock down in robots around. It's almost like there is property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called the Candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. They're in the wall! Can you hear them? Scurrying around! I'm scared! They're really scared of them! You've got nothing to be scared of. You're... dead. I know! Even back when I was alive, I saw dead people get up again. I don't want this to happen to me! I'm scared of them! I gotta keep moving. Keep your eyes peeled. They're even tormenting the dead. I've seen it! I've seen it!
always have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like an explosion? Not necessarily, but the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even throw it intentionally. Nothing will happen to it. Mm-hmm. Those loaders are going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on nutcases, metallic or otherwise. Sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? Fading data. 